recording. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Rye Free Reading Room, Tales for Tots program. My name is Granny Jean, and I hope you'll have, uh, all enjoy this program today. I know I will. So if everyone joins in with your children, uh, they'll have a much more rich experience. <clears throat> so here we go and drown me out, grand grandmas. <clears throat> The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Absolutely. <coughs> well, it looks like a pretty nice beach day here, doesn't it? Yeah, I see the blue sky and the sand and the ocean. Huh? I see a bus taking people to the beach for a lovely day. Hmm? What do you think? You think they have a picnic with them? Well, come on, let's put them all on the bus. And here we go. The wheels of the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels of the bus go round and round all through the town. And can you do that? Huh? That's, that's kind of fun to do, pretending that there are wheels going. <clears throat> The uh, lights on the bus go blink, 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 blink. The lights on the bus go blink, 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 all through the town. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 all through the town. Hmm. What about the wipers? What if it were raining, huh? Well, maybe the salt spray is coming over on that bus. The oh, wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 all through the town. <laughs> now, what about <clears throat> what about the doors? No, huh? the doors on the bus go open and shut, open and shut, open and shut. The doors on the bus go open and shut, all through the town. What about the people, huh? <laughs> the people on the bus go up and down, up and down, up and down. The people on the bus go up and down, all through the town. And the baby on the bus goes, wah, 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 wah. The baby on the bus goes, wah, 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 all through the town. And the mama on the bus goes, Mama on the bus goes shh, 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 all through the town. Yeah. <clears throat> now I saw those hands up. Let's let's see them again, huh? Can you spread your fingers out like that, huh? Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, crawl them. Creep them, crawl them, right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open wide your little mouth, but do not let them in. No, your fingers are dirty. You didn't just wash them, did you? No, we don't put our fingers in our mouth. <clears throat> That's how we get sick. <laughs> oh, here we go. <clears throat> open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them. Open, shut them, put them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep and crawl them, creep and crawl them, right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open wide your little mouth, but do not let them in. Yeah, see, I've got a lot of chins to go over before I get to mine. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness me. Wizzy Wizard, do you have a tip for our caregivers today? Why, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Singing nursery rhymes helps children uh, get ready to read. Listening to rhymes helps them uh, hear the smaller sounds in words, developing phonological awareness. Phonological awareness is the term used for the ability to play with sounds. <clears throat> well, my first book today has all these characters in it. What do we see here? I see a bug sitting on a jug. Hmm. 
I see a frog. I see a cat. I see a dog. I see a crocodile. And I see a whale. Now, someone is missing. And I want you to see if you can tell me who's missing. This, this book is called Jump. And it's by <clears throat> Scott Fisher. <clears throat> and it looks like that frog, <clears throat> that frog <clears throat> is looking for something to eat. What does he like to eat? That's right, he loves to eat bugs. <clears throat> Jump, whoops, wrong way. Oops, it looks like he's already left. He's left the, he's left the, the building here. Jump. Well, I'm a bug, I'm a bug. I'm a snug little bug on a jug. And I'm sleeping on a jug until I see a frog. <laughs> and I jump. Look at that, J-U-M-P, jump. And look at that long tongue that frog has. They really do have long, long tongues like that. Yes, they do. Huh. Well, I'm a frog, I'm a frog, I'm a frog in a bog, and I'm sleeping like a log. Oh, until I see a cat and I jump. Oh. <clears throat> Well, I'm a cat, I'm a cat. I'm and I'm sleeping on a mat until I see a howl. And I jump. He didn't say jump before I do. <coughs> there he goes. Oh boy. Playtime. Well, I'm a dog hound, I'm a hound. <coughs> uh, and <coughs> I'm sleeping very sound until I see a crock. And I oh, jump. <coughs> well, I'm a crock, I'm a crock. I'm a crock on a dock. And I'm sleeping like a rock until I see a shark. And I jump. Yikes. Well, I'm a shark. I'm a shark. My teeth spark in the dark. I don't sleep because I'm a shark. But when I see a whale, I <coughs> jump. Whoa. That's a big fellow that killed that whale. Well, I'm a whale, I'm a whale. I'm a, a whale setting sail, and it's time to end this tale. Now, whales have a blowhole where they blow out all their whoosh. And he blew everybody out and put them up right back where they were. Now, did you guess who was missing? Huh? I'll give you a hint. <clears throat> he tried to catch the crocodile, but then the whale tried to catch him. That's right, you're right, the shark. The shark was missing, right? Well, here's the bug on the jug and the frog. <clears throat> Whoops, the frog. <clears throat> on the law in the bog and the cat on the mat and the dog like a log and the crock on a duck and the whale with a tail. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> well, you gung went the little bullfrog one day. You gung went the little bullfrog. Yo gum went the little bullfrog one day, and his eyes went yunk, yunk, yunk. Can you do that? Yunk, yunk, yunk. <laughs> Here we go. 
Yo gung went the little bullfrog one day. Yo gung went the little bullfrog. Yo gung went the little bullfrog one day. And his eyes went yunk, yunk, yunk. There it is. <clears throat> well, I have a poem here by Lillian Moore, and it's Until I Saw the Sea. Until I Saw the Sea. Until I Saw the Sea, I did not know the wind could wrinkle water so. I never knew the sun could splinter a whole sea of blue, nor did I know before. A sea breathes in and out upon the shore. Now the waves come in and out, but he's breathing. Right? <coughs> Sometimes those waves are pretty big. Sometimes they're just a little soft laps. Until I saw the sea, I did not know the wind could wrinkle water so. I never knew <coughs> that sun could splinter a whole sea of blue, nor did I know before. A sea breathes in and out upon the shore. <coughs> okay, my next book is <coughs> The Deep Blue Sea. <coughs> Looks kind of kind of um, nice, doesn't it? Look at all those colors. And this is by Audrey Wood. She has a few books for this age group <clears throat> that are very good. <clears throat> a book of colors. I see a lot of blue there, don't you? Mm -hmm. There's the sea, the deep blue sea. There's a rock, a red rock, in the middle of the deep blue sea. <clears throat> There's a tree, a green tree, <clears throat> on a red rock in the middle of the deep blue sea. There's a nut, a brown nut, on a green tree, on a red rock, <clears throat> in the middle of the deep blue sea. Brown nut. Yeah, that's a coconut, I think. Oh, there's a parrot, a purple parrot on a brown nut, on a green tree, on a red rock, in the middle of the deep blue sea. There is a butterfly, an orange butterfly, on a purple parrot, on a brown nut, on a green tree, on a red rock, in the middle of the deep blue sea. There. <laughs> There's a spot, a black spot, on an orange butterfly, on a purple parrot, on a brown nut, on a green tree, on a red rock in the middle of the deep blue sea. And over them all shines the big yellow sun. Until a little cloud turns dark and gray. What happens when they're dark and gray? They're full of what? Water, right? And which makes the fishes come up to play. Oh yeah, we're gonna have a nice rainstorm. That'll be fun. Then all the little fishes sing fiddly dee dee. It's raining on the rock. In the deep blue sea. And there's a rainbow. Is that a rainbow? Hmm? And do you know the colors of the rainbow? 
purple, blue and green, my friend, yellow, orange, and red at the end. Can you sing that with me? <coughs> Do you know the colors of the rainbow? Purple, blue, and green, my friend, yellow, orange, and red at the end. What, the, the rock was red, the green tree, the purple parrot, the orange butterfly, and the yellow sun. Right? Colors of the rainbow, and the orange butterfly. <clears throat> I said last week, this really happened to me. And so I made up this poem. This is a little scallop. <laughs> Here's a real one. <laughs> it's not alive. The little creature is gone, but it has two shells. And I picked it up out of the sea like that. And I thought, oh, I'll take that home and cook it. It squirted right off my hand back into the sea. So here we go. I caught a little scallop while fishing in the sea. I said, Mr. Scallop, you are coming home with me. He looked at me with his blue eyes and said, uh-uh, I don't agree, and gave a mighty squirt and slipped back into the sea. I never saw him again. Nope. <coughs> I caught a little scallop while fishing in the sea. I said, Mr. Scallop, you are coming home with me. He looked at me with his blue eyes and said, I don't agree, <clears throat> then gave a mighty squirt and slipped back into the sea. <laughs> that really happened. Yes, it did. <clears throat> well, it looks like these people are going to have a fun time. What do you think? Beach Day <laughs> by Karen Rusa. And look at that. They're drawing <clears throat> their letters on the beach, the wet sand. Makes a wonderful. <clears throat> um, place to, to draw letters. There it is. There they are, all packed up in their car. They didn't go by bus. They went by car. Beach day. <clears throat> Waves roar, rush and soar, rolling, crashing to the shore. Oh, look at those waves. Look at that. <laughs> Sparkling spray, jeweled array, water skiers on their way. Look at that. Oh, I could, I could just almost imagine myself there at the beach with this book. It's great illustrations. <clears throat> Sandy knees, uh, foaming seas, <laughs> insects dancing in the breeze. There they are. Baby waiting, playing with the shells, children digging, catching the bugs. <clears throat> Noon light shimmers bright in the distance, hot and white. Oh, it does get hot. That umbrella is a nice place to rest or in water, right? It's really hot. <clears throat> <clears throat> that ball knit, it's a hit. Leaping, running, lickety split. Well, some beaches you can play ball on. The private beaches. <clears throat> <clears throat> Voices chatter, off to lunch. The children scatter. There they go. Off to their blankets to have their lunch. <clears throat> Sand crab scurry, uh, hungry swimmers in a hurry. There they come up to the blanket. There's, there's the sand crab scurrying off. <clears throat> Chicken legs, deviled eggs, oh, what a banquet. Seagull bags, oh, they're always there. They're always there, yeah. What a banquet. Uh, 
<laughs> Waves lapping, babies napping. Babies get nap. Sometimes parents do too if someone else watching their children. On the water, sails are snapping. Wind is blowing. Moving the boats, the sailboats, moved by the wind. <clears throat> Launch a boat, help father float, build a castle with a moat. Oh, look at that beautiful sand castle. And they put a little <clears throat> trench around it and filled it with water, which is a moat. And they are playing in the water with daddy. <clears throat> a freckled nose, sandy toes, ocean salty, sea breeze blows. Hey, baby. <clears throat> Time to pack, picnic sack, <clears throat> bright beach towels in a stack. Shake all the sand out. Put things away. Help mommy. Everybody helps. Big sister watches the little baby while mommy helps. A <coughs> 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 lot <coughs> late afternoon. <coughs> oh, sorry. Supper soon. Families march across the dune. There they go, all packing up, and ready to get in their cars. Some warm skin, contented grin. What a happy day it's been. Look at that. They had a wonderful time. And the beach is empty except for a little dog <clears throat> and his master down the road. Yeah, down the way. Beach Day by Carolyn Roos. Rusa. <clears throat> well, I saw a ship a sailing, a sailing on the sea, and oh, it was so laden with yummy things for me. There were apples in the cabin. <clears throat> Sorry, there were comforts in the cabin and apples in the hold. The sails were made of silk and the mast was made of gold. <clears throat> four and twenty sailors that stood between the deck were four and twenty white mice with chains about their necks. The captain was a duck with a packet on its back. And when the ship began to move, the captain said, Quack, quack. You do that, huh? I think I should have sal saluted with his hand. This arm doesn't work that well, though. <clears throat> so let's go. I saw a ship a sailing, a sailing on the sea, and oh, it was so laden with yummy things for thee. <clears throat> that was candy in the cabin and apples in the hold. The sails were made of silk and the mast was made of gold. The four and twenty sailors that stood between the deck were four and twenty white mice with chains about their necks. The captain was a duck with a packet on its back, and when the ship began to move, the captain said, Quack, quack. Isn't that silly? Yeah, well, let's see if we can count. One, <clears throat> two, three, four. Now, what we need is a big wave, right? So let's see what happened here. Let's see if my wave held together. I'm not sure. Oop. Here's my big wave. <clears throat> All the water coming ashore, right? Let's say the bus in it. We don't want to get washed away, do we? In the road. Five little seashells. One, two, three, four, five. 
five little seashells lying on the shore. Swish went the wave. Now there are four. Four little seashells, <clears throat> pretty as can be. Swish went the wave. And now there are three. Three little seashells lying in the sun. Swish went the wave. I'm sorry, all pearly, I should have done it. Three little seashells, all pearly new. Swish went the waves. Now there are two. Two little seashells lying in the sun. Swish went the waves. Now there is one. One little seashell lying all alone. Of course I picked it up and I took it home. I always make sure there isn't a little animal still living in there. These used to be their houses, right? Yeah. Let's put them back. One, two, three. Okay, see if I can do this right this time. <clears throat> Five little seashells lying on the shore. Swish went the waves. Now there are four. Four little seashells, pretty as can be. Swish went the waves. Now there are three. And <clears throat> three little seashells, all pearly new. Swish went the waves. Now there are two. Two little seashells lying in the sun. Swish went the waves. And now there is one. One little seashell lying all alone. Of course, I picked it up and I took it. <clears throat> well, I think it's time for our bye-bye song. Can you help me sing, huh? <clears throat> so bye-bye to all my beach friends and bye-bye to alligator too. And bye-bye to the dog and the bug on the jug. Here he is, it's time to say goodbye. And bye-bye to the frog. The gum, yum, gum, gum, right? <clears throat> And bye bye to the, to the Mr. Scallop. There he is. Bye bye. And goodbye to all my friends and caregivers. It's good to be with you. See you next week, I hope. Bye bye. <laughs>